is 12, 9,000, 12,300. What's going on? Welcome back to a new episode. We just want to share some of the new arrivals that we have in. Uh, we have this 2022 Rolex Submariner Starbucks with the box, uh, warranty card, white hang tag, and we're asking $13,750 on this. Over here we have a 41 millimeter uh, Rolex Datejust stainless steel with the Wimbledon dial. This is a full set from 2023. We have everything with the box and papers. Uh, right here we have a Rolex GMT Master II with the green anniversary dial. It's from 2007. Uh, it has complete set box and papers and we just had it serviced by Rolex. So it's an absolute mint condition. It has all the original links. On this one, we're asking thirty-nine thousand, and we here we have an IWC from 2018. It's got the blue dial, automatic, dual date, chronograph, and this is a watch that's bang for your buck. It's forty-five hundred dollars. Um, here we have a 2021 Rolex Milgaz, the Z blue dial, which is now discontinued. Um, full set, still under the manufacturer's warranty, and we can do this at eleven thousand eight hundred. Here we have a 2022 Tudor 1926 and it's full set. It's actually, it actually has not even been worn. Uh, we'll do 1600 on this one. And here we have another Tudor GMT. This is brand new, 2024, full set. We buy and sell a lot of these. This is one of our hottest sellers. We I discussed before many times why I sell some lower end items like this, which really, they don't make us money but it's a way that helps our account the eBay account the algorithm but also it's an opportunity to put our business card in there so people can reach out to us this is a good way to advertise too just by selling these small products on eBay so we just got another big box of yeah. repairs from one of the micro brands that keep us very oh, busy okay. we'll open it up and see what we got today okay is there any way you can put a battery in my wife watch here. Yeah, it's ten dollars for that. Did you need anything else? Yes, I did. I need this a link to be taken out of this watch. Just one? I don't know. It looks like it's pretty big. Yeah, try it on. Yeah, let's do a couple at least. How are you doing today? I'm good. I'm going through a divorce, so I'm catching you. Yeah, sorry to hear about that. Yeah, yeah, but God is with me though. That's good. Man. Yeah. Now, hold on. This one's done. Oh, oh. Okay. All right, so try this on. See how it is. I sure will. It took two out. Okay. I also set the time and the date for you because it wasn't on time. <laughs> yeah, this will work. Yeah. All right. Uh -huh. Anything else for you, sir? No, that'll be it, sir. Thank you very much. All right, it's fifteen dollars, ten for the battery and five for the sizing. And keep these because they do break sometimes. So. You got it. Thank you, sir. You're good to Appreciate go. Have it. a good day. Thank right. you. So I have the package here. I have not opened it yet. It literally came just a few minutes ago. If I know you want, just kind of get them running. You don't want like full restoration or anything like that. So we'll go through them. If you give me a little bit of time, I, I'll get back to you later today, okay? Bye-bye. But you said he didn't need help. You're just keeping an eye on her. Make sure she doesn't spend too much, right? Yeah, these shirts are comfortable. That's kind of dangerous. All right, there you go. Plenty of work to do. I think we have to do dial swaps on a lot of these. Da -da -da -da. All right, got another package here from a dealer. Uh, I don't know if I've ever met this dealer in person, maybe at a watch trade show or somewhere, I don't know. But he heard of us and he wants to start sending us jobs. He is in New Jersey. Thing is though, he just kinda, he doesn't wanna do like full service on these, just kinda partial repairs. 
to just get them going. Uh, we really don't like doing stuff like that because because if we don't do complete like overhaul service, I mean anything could go wrong. It's always better to do a complete disassembly to clean oil time, adjust properly, replace worn parts. So we'll see what we got inside. He says check movement. Okay, check movement. Two Omega Seamaster so far. This is a Frederic Constant. Please make make it run. Make it run with minimal work. A bit difficult to do. And this is a speed Speedmaster. Reduced. I'm assuming it's also stopped, so, so what's going on? So, <laughs> we got this one here. Okay. Uh, this one's different from the other. Uh, same but different than the other ones. This one's actually. Is that the one that you changed the dial on? No. no? The oh, one okay. I changed the dial on was, was the burgundy one. Oh. I'm in the spot where I'm buying my wife a gift. Okay. So, uh, last time it was 16. I think, I think this watch is a better watch. Okay. But I need 16. Uh, American issue feel of the watch with the blue dial. Mm -hmm. I want to see if there's anything out there right now. I don't see too many out there right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I saw the other ones. Uh, yeah, I only have a couple more left. But the other ones I'm gonna. Are keep. you keeping? Yeah. Yeah. I know. Cool, cool. man. Hey, uh, you sir. Yeah. I'll get some work on it. I've not found a two-tone date just like you want. Don't worry, no. But uh, yeah. I'll pop around. I'll let you know. We got we got one not too long ago, but it was really beat up. Yeah. And I paid super low for it, but I just I didn't even do anything to it. I flipped it to another dealer. Those dealers in 47th Street, because I didn't, I didn't want to deal with it. I didn't want to service it or anything. I like, bought it for okay. like 15, sold it for like 19. But it was beat up. Yeah. It wasn't the condition that I wanted. I, mean, have, I, have, have, I told you a nice one. Have, so we, yeah, yeah, have your name on it. Like, oh, I, I bought this over here. And, yeah, so a nice one is going to be at least 35 for something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, I know that was yeah. your price range. So. Yep. Yeah, th these are very easy to okay. polish. I've yeah. polished a lot of... Uh, a lot of modern tutors already, so very nice watch, manual wine. There you have it. That's from 1968. I know that's that's the that's my lucky year. Why? I have a Camaro. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got I'm like I'm, I'm sure yeah. you're not no. that old, bro. I think no. I'm older than you. But yeah, get. Getting your box of 68 Rolex would be really cool. Yeah. Alright, sir. All right. As always. Yes, sir. Customer walked in. We just picked up this Tudor GMT two tone. He bought it earlier this year. Uh, 2024, February. It's available. We're asking 4000 for it, so. And I don't have to hold it for the holding period. It is a client that we've done business before. We have his information on file. I know exactly where he bought it from. We have a client that's interested in this watch. He just gave me a call. Uh, we're gonna try to send him some videos to uh, get a better idea of condition. Let's see. Let me just figure out how to pop the case and it's usually we're just pushing this button, right? No, the back you need a knife to, to open. And then the front is just this guy here. The front the you, front you can push. push. The back you need a knife. Oh, okay. 1868. That's unbelievable. What's the oldest watch you've ever had here? 1765. Wow. The wow. guy, uh, so the story is the guy bought it in, uh, in England. Mm -hmm. He bought it in England off of eBay, right? He paid 2500 yeah. or 3000 3000 3000 mm -hmm. Brought it to my dad to fix. My dad was able to fix. My dad charged him 300. He gave him a mm -hmm. $200 tip. Mm -hmm. So technically, he was in 3,500 mm -hmm. to the watch. Um, 
turned out to be a very rare watch. Right. And uh, after he passed away, his wife asked, asked us to sell it. Mm -hmm. um, we put it up online and then a producer from uh, uh, Pawn Stars yeah. saw it and they gave us a call and they said, would mm -hmm. you like to appear on the show with that watch? So, wow. so I went there in Vegas. We, I usually go about eight times a year. Yeah. So I went to Vegas. Uh, we filmed for like four hours, but I don't think the episode ever oh, aired. Oh, really? Yeah, it's kind of weird. I don't know. But, but uh, the owner, Rick, uh, because they do stage a lot of this stuff, but oh, yeah. the, the owner Rick he mm -hmm. really liked the watch and mm -hmm. uh, uh, Off camera he did want to buy it, mm -hmm. but I think because he really wanted the watch and his offer was like um, He was firm at the price he wanted yeah. to offer he wanted offered 10,000 mm -hmm. But this lady wanted 30,000 for oh, the wow. watch the watch was worth yeah. roughly around there But you got to mm -hmm. find the person to pay that kind right. of money exactly so I couldn't, I couldn't sell it for 10 because she wanted 30. She ended up not selling it and then she actually donated to the NAWCC oh. Museum. And that thing, I mean, 1765 and it was working. You had to wind it twice a day because the power reserve was only 12 hours. Right. And from what I remember, accuracy was off by about five minutes a day, which was wow. very typical for that time. Wow. Uh, around that era, I mean, yeah. the, the watches were usually off by anywhere between 5 to about 15 minutes a day. Mm. The materials that they use in here are either brass or nickel. Mm -hmm. So they're durable. They last hundreds of years. Mm -hmm. The materials they use nowadays, aluminum and plastic. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. this is why everything breaks down. So people buy these Apple watches and, yeah. and they do not last more than like three years at the most. It's yeah. like it's, they're just... Yeah, and they're obsolete. That, yeah. Nothing would hand down to your generation and generation no, it's to your nothing. kids or nothing. It, mean, it has no special meaning. Yeah, yeah meaning it's meaningless. There's You're no right. Intrinsic value to it whatsoever. So, and these are and these are all two hundred dollars for these here. Yeah, too? yeah, two hundred. How's the YouTube channel going? Next? We don't have a lot of followers. I think we're up to about fourteen hundred right now. Mm -hmm. But the followers that we do have are good quality followers. Like I mean, yeah. they engage with us. They come into the shop. They send us stuff for repairs. They call mm -hmm. us. So it's like, I'd rather have that than have yeah. 100,000 yeah. just random people that want nothing to do with us and they don't really, you know, they, they don't really have a passion for, for what we do and what we're interested in. He yeah. just likes the brand. He likes That's the brand. Out. I'll be completely honest with you. Go ahead. The She's paying for it, so. The Tissot's, <laughs> I, I don't think I actually have any Tissot's in stock right now. But I looked, yeah. The Tissots that they make nowadays are actually pretty bad watches. Okay, so they've changed then from what he's been buying then. I, I don't know what he's been buying, uh -huh. but Tissot watches, I know a lot of other dealers will say they're good. They're not good. We know because we get them in for repairs all the time. Yeah. So the just shift my thinking then. Yeah, battery operated ones are not that great and the mechanical ones are even worse. The materials that they use for the movements are super soft, they break down a lot. Well, then Some of them break down within like the first first or second year, so. Well, let's move on from that uh, then. Yeah, but there's a lot of other brands. So there's that price so range I think is between what, four or $500 maybe? It depends, yeah. Four or five, six. Yeah. Even if you have to order it, it would be okay. I don't really, so I used to carry brand new watches in my store. I don't anymore because mm -hmm. there's just like no profit margin on them. And a lot of these companies, they don't really stand behind their products. So when we need, when a customer comes in, they need a warranty repair. It's really, we've been eating the cost, our, our shop, because we send them to the manufacturer. They, they always blame the customers. Oh, the customer did this, the customer did so that. So all your watches are used watches here? Pretty much. We do get some brand new like Rolexes in and stuff like that. but. We're not an authorized dealer. We just buy them off of customers that just bought it and they bought it to resell. So that's a Raymond Wow right there. That's a much better quality than Tissot. They're both Swiss made, but like the Tissot movements, the Tissot, uh, the movements Tissot watches use right now are like the bottom, bottom, bottom feeders. That's all right. I'm Swiss I just, watch I, industry. Well, if it's at seven or eight hundred dollars, I'll speak for that. This one is like five forty. Uh -huh. The retail was like fifteen fifty, so it's a third of the retail. But this is why we don't carry brand new watches. This is an automatic watch, so you can manually wind it to get started. But then it winds itself when you're wearing it every day. The brand has been around a long time. The watch is now not as good as they used to be in the past, but this still has a good quality movement inside. It's a Swiss movement, 
way yeah, better than what the so uses. Yeah. But this is so this is plastic, all plastic, yeah. and rubber. Yeah, I get but it. But that's stainless steel, and you have a mechanical movement, which is a lot heavier than a quartz uh, battery operated movement. So, so this is if you're going to sixty or, I mean, I do thirty five is like what women is wear, a, right? This is what forty two millimeter. Um, this way, yeah. If you're going to go to a watch similar to what you're showing me, it's going to be a lot heavier. So you're going to have to get used to that if you've been wearing this. It's a big difference. Right. Big difference. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> you know, and if you're not in a hurry, you know, come back in a week or something. But we always have different yeah. stuff out. Is it you and your dad? Because me and my dad and my son, so too. Okay. Yeah, if you're not, I was going to say, if you're not thrilled about it, because it doesn't seem like you are, I'll just buy it just because she's buying me a watch. Okay, Raymond. Thank you so much. Of course, guys. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you guys. Bye. Hello. Hello. Good. What can I do for you, man? This is a job from one of our micro brands. Ooh, the hour marker fell off of the dial. I'm gonna repair that for the customer. Yeah, let's see what else we got in. Should be just an empty box to use for a ladies Omega wristwatch. It's really nice. Sometimes we buy watches and they're missing the box, the booklets. So we buy some of these separately. Pulse watch repair, this is Raymond. Our batteries are $10 for any watch. We close at 5, but we're usually here past 5, so if you want to come anytime, you're more than welcome to. You're welcome, man. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. It's going to be 2000 for the three of them. Yeah. I just thought it's probably better to just have the, the cash rather than the... Yeah, yeah. You know. This. That I need a check for 2000 okay? Okay. There's a new battery. Are you okay with cash? Yeah, I'm good with cash. Yeah. All right. So let's see here. First one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How you doing, sir? Fine, thanks. Do me a favor if I can just get a signature there. Yeah. Thank you. What did you need help with? Oh, just need a watch band. Watch band? Let me see the size I can show you what we got. This band looks good to me. Like that one? We'll put down, this is $20. Come in and just kind of window shop and look at it for fourteen thousand dollars for. Yeah, we have some watches around that price point. Thanks a lot. All right, take care. You want me to this one? This one's solid gold, manual wind. And the Zodiac is automatic. It's a pretty big size for a vintage watch. Yeah. It's a nineteen forty-four. This one is in 14 karat solid gold, men and wine also. So, somewhere around 1940s. Small watch, but that was a men's watch in that time. Mm -hmm. That was 4,000. I think we have a 4,500 online. 95% of them are in men and wine. Try yeah. yeah. on the newer ones, they're just like. They're big, yes. Yeah. We haven't really had too many jealousies the last couple of years, but we used to carry a lot of them. And some of the modern ones are huge, especially the ones that they have a lot of different functions, like yeah. moon phase and stuff like that. Oh yeah, yeah. those are just, yeah, the, the movements are a lot thicker. If you scan the QR code, it'll bring up a lot of information, so. Okay. Thank but, you. Uh, yeah, no problem again. Yeah. Thank you, I appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. These watches came in today. We purchased them from a customer, a vintage Seiko-Matic, Weekender. Omega manual wind, stainless steel case, and uh, vintage military style to sew. And then these we bought earlier from the guy that came in a couple days ago and we made him an offer of $2,000. He didn't want to sell. He came back today and sold us these three watches. some pack
packages that came in. We're going to do a quick unboxing. This looks like it's from the eBay's authentication center, so this is the return. Your item has been returned. Please see the order details below. Additional information has also been sent to your eBay messages and or associated email. We're returning this item because it was found to be significantly different from the item description because I gave them a free box and free free booklets. Just yeah. gave them this for free to go along with the watch in the authentication center that said that the serial no, number on here does not match the serial number on the back of the watch. Called the customer and the customer said, I don't want it. So here we have a Concord chronograph. The customer sent it in from Las Vegas. He put it in water and it's already got rust. So this is not a waterproof watch, especially when you have square pushers like, like this water can easily get through there so we're going to look at it give them an estimate you put it in water i already told them 750 dollars or more but if we can fix it because it's rusted already let's see what else we have here within a box that's good I think these are some items that somebody wants to sell if I'm not mistaken and an envelope within a box within a box here we go to sell chronograph it's funny that just today I was telling somebody that to sell watches are not very good uh, saying we got a vintage to sew in today which we bought but those are vintage ones are good and this is a modern quartz to sell that somebody's just wanting to sell. A lady's Gucci watch. This is a vintage, vintage solid gold watch. Ladies, very small. Nixon, battery operated watch. Vintage Hamilton. Vintage Manuel Wine Movado. And a ladies tag hoyer. So we're gonna go over these and see how much we can pay them for all this. Uh, here are a couple Omega boxes that I bought off of eBay. Check these over, make sure these are real boxes because I don't want fake boxes. But uh, we buy a lot of watches that come in with without any boxes. So all right, I got a customer that I gotta get this watch shipped out to him today because he wants to wear it tomorrow. We, we typically do repairs pretty fast, faster than most places, but I do not like to be rushed. Uh, I want to make sure I do jobs right, and we like to test them properly to make sure they work properly. This one we got in on the 10th. Today's the 19th. We did a full overhaul service. I only had about two days to test it. I wanted to test it longer. I'm going to do a final timing adjustment and get it off with FedEx so you can have it tomorrow. Here's the day date for the customer that we have to ship back now. The bracelet in the case has a Florentine finish. A little bit different than the bark finish, but beautiful nonetheless. This is very early non-quick set. Well, the gentleman with the Rolex, he wanted wanted it done fast. Uh, I typically do not like to rush on repairs. I want to make sure we get them done right. I would have liked to have it here a couple more days because we just finished the repairs a couple days ago. It came in on the 10th and today's the 19th so and he just hit me up today he says he wants to wear it somewhere Saturday so if I can overnight it to him so um, I was in a little bit of a scramble to try to get it done and get it out we sold this strap to another watch dealer in Florida he wants it overnight he paid us 450 for it so the Rolex strap that I just uh, showed you that I sold to a dealer in Florida he wants it overnight so that cost me forty one dollars and thirty four cents uh, sold the strap for four hundred fifty bucks I made eight dollars and sixty six cents so I have to be a little bit more careful when I'm purchasing these items even though they do sell uh, I gotta start paying a little bit less so I can make something all right so on one of our eBay accounts 
we sold this Rolex Datejust dial for $280 and this is going to Hong Kong then we sold another rubber B strap for $120 this is going to the USA uh, we sold a set of Rolex spring bars for 130 and these are going to Thailand they are 18k solid gold and we also sold a strap of this tropic strap sold to a buyer in Singapore for $36.99 plus they paid $12.50 for shipping shipping cost me $14 quick recap uh, tropic strap sold for $36.99 after fees shipping and my cost I ended up with $28.23 profit the Rolex spring bars sold for $130 um, after my cost, after sh uh, fees and shipping and everything, I ended up with $13.20 profit. The rubber B strap sold for $120. After my costs, fees, shipping, I ended up losing $2.25 on that. Rolex Day Just Dow sold for $280, and that was a profit of $242.98. The Rolex Day Just Dow came in that big lot of items that we just bought, and a lot of the things that we don't need we're going to list to for sale. So technically, I didn't calculate any cost of goods on this Rolex Day Just Dial, so I put the cost of goods as being zero. That's why the profit is so high, $242. But anyways, uh, three of these items went outside of the US which is good it's a good sign when people are buying stuff outside of the US again because currency in many countries has been very low for a few years now so uh, one sale was from Hong Kong one from Singapore and one from Thailand all right I gotta get an invoice out to a customer for this watch we just sold it the customer texted me late last night he's been thinking about it for a couple of days I gave him a really good deal on it. 18k white gold green chryso phrase dial so this exact watch we've sold before at its peak for 100k and then we sold a couple of them on the lizard strap for around 75k we also just sold this longines triple date moon phase automatic chronograph it's going to a buyer in Canada. We also sold some parts here. This is a Vacheron Constantine set lever that we sold for $69.99. Then a, a LeCoultre oscillating weight. We sold this for $149. These are going outside of the country. And a, a rare Rolex tool case opening and closing tool. We sold this for $600 going to a different country this is the vintage Rolex case opening tool this is basically all it is is a handle and you put the dies on the end and you uh, open the back they actually have a, a stand that goes with it so the tool is incomplete but you can still use the t this without the stand but we just we have no use for it we have other sets that we use so we sold this and these are a couple vintage parts that we sold we did end up making this sale on this green chryso phrase daytona we had it in stock for a while but we gave it at a good price and it's old all right a quick unboxing let's see what we got today so here i got some links from omega that i ordered for some of my watches that i have and then here should be some watch boxes I bought some watch boxes from a guy off of eBay and then he just contacted me directly and he said he's got a lot more so I bought more here we have a Rolex day date box as you can see it's a big box for Rolex president Rolex Daytona box Cartier box and a Hugh Blow box. We gotta get the customer paid out.
customer reach out wanting to buy this uh, Rolex Yachtmaster for 10.9 after shipping we're probably making about $300 on this watch we sold the green chrysophrase Daytona to a client and I told them ahead of time the amount of links and what red size it will fit and we agreed on a price however he got it and he says it's too tight so uh, in situations like this, I don't want to penny pinch and ask the customer for more money uh, for, for a link even though these genuine Daytona links in 18k white gold are about $800 uh, It cut in big time into my profit, but I Don't want to lose the sale. I don't want him to say well, it doesn't fit me I'm gonna send it back. So I'd rather just eat the cost still made a little bit of profit not a huge profit, but shipping this to him overnight so he can enjoy his new Daytona it was nice overall and he was happy and when he received the green chrysophrase Daytona in fact he said wow it was better than I expected so I'm thankful for that sold six items on one of our eBay account let's see really quick what they are we have an IWC strap sold this for 150 it's a good deal for the buyer um, we were asking 199 reduce the price to 150 and then here we have a vintage crystal press uh, we had it for 90 bucks I think we took an offer of 55 and reason being we have a lot of tools like this that we just don't use then we sold a rubber strap hard to see in this but just want to give you a quick rundown uh, we sold this for $55 this is a high-end uh, rubber strap made to fit on the Tudor Black Bays. Uh, I don't know what the retail is on these. I think they're a couple hundred dollars. We sold this one for 55. Then we sold another Seiko rubber strap for only $25. These at this point, they're really they're free for me because I bought out a lot a long time ago and been selling out of that lot for a very long time. Here is Rolex paper that we sold. Obviously, it's a used paper. Uh, what people like to do with these is like they'll cross out the serial number and uh, or even cut it out and just pair it up with their watch to make it look more complete. We sold the vintage Seiko here for a $159.99, $160. Pretty cool Seiko. We did complete overhaul um, service on this, so it's ready to go to be enjoyed by the new owner. So I got to get these things shipped out. 
Yeah, this is a repeat customer, so that's awesome. Thank you, Chris. I appreciate it, man. More packages came in, so let's unbox them. I think this is a return. This is a warranty repair for Ocean Crawler. This is a warranty repair for another micro brand. This is for Stratton. Balls watch repair. This is Raymond. Hey Raymond, how's it going? I, I just want to let you know I just sent over the, uh, the watch to you guys. Okay, not a problem. Yeah. We'll take a look at it. We'll see what's going on. We'll go we'll get it fixed again. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. It felt like, you know, like when I blinded, when I went to blind it, it felt like it was, there was nothing connected to maybe the main thing. I, I have no clue. You know more than I do, but it just felt like it was kind of the blind end was little. Appreciate you, man. Okay. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye bye. All right. All right. We do a lot of repairs for other dealers in the watch trade and we'll show you what came in now. Vega Speedmaster reduced. Tudor Advisor alarm. Vega Seamaster. Vega Seamaster chronometer. Warrior chronograph, Brightling, Super Ocean, Volcane, Cricket Alarm. This is a modern Volcane. They go 600 meter diving watch. And here, a UV Universal Geneve White Shadow. This is a nice vintage watch. We sold this watch through our website. Uh, this is a 37 millimeter Yacht Master. The guy who called, I wanted to confirm with him and say, hey, you know it's 37 millimeter, right? He said, yeah, because we did sell it one time and it came back because it was too small. Last night I reduced prices on a lot of the watches on my eBay account, um, on my eBay accounts I should say, and we sold this Ming watch for $2,300. After fees and shipping costs, um, I ended up losing money on that, so I'll just know next time to stick with my gut instinct and not overpay. Um, it is a beautiful watch. It's lost a, a little bit of traction though. But still, I'm sure the buyer is going to be happy for 2300 bucks. I think they're in a great watch that not everybody has. And then we had some other sales on our other accounts. Um, we sold this Invicta here, brand new. Yeah, we still buy and sell these because <laughs> there are customers that like these watches. This watch is huge. Anyway, sold this for 125 and then sold the Rolex advertisement booklet. Pretty cool book. It's got a lot of models in here. And then a uh, Tag Heuer bracelet or strap, I should say, that goes to a deployant clasp. So I got to get these shipped out. There's a beautiful burgundy color on this dial. And notice it's got a small 24 hour hand. So it's an automatic GMT in titanium, so it's super light. Sold one more item while I was packing. The rest of the stuff is just a Cartier Link. Uh, sold it for 40 bucks. All right, a quick unboxing, some more packages. 
This is an Omega Vintage. We worked on this before. Uh, the customer wants an original crown, so we're going to try to source that for him. Here we have uh, another micro brand watch. So we'll get that fixed for the client. This right here is supposed to be a white gold Daytona. Uh, we bought it from a dealer and one of the dealer groups that we're in. And uh, I paid him yesterday. He shipped it out yesterday. So we did reference checks on each other. That way we can get the transaction done fast. And uh, we shipped it overnight. Yesterday was Friday. Today is Saturday. Let's see how it looks. It's packed really well. I like that. Ooh, look at that. Instructions on how to use the Daytona in Japanese. That's pretty cool. Got the little hang tag, chronometer hang tag, guarantee manual. We're gonna have to verify the card, make sure it's uh make sure it's good, it's real. Serial number on the card and model number matches. The hang tag. We're gonna make sure everything matches up with the watch. This is how to use the oyster lock bracelet. Here we have the white gold Daytona with the racing dial. It's an amazing piece. Very beautiful. I don't think we're gonna sell it yet. I think we're just gonna hold on. Uh, for a little while. We'll see what we're gonna do with it. It's uh, extremely clean. Extreme, extremely nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Solid gold pieces like this came with eleven links. Other models, stainless steel, came with twelve links. Of course, I'm gonna go in depth and uh, inspect it closer. This is just a quick show and tell. Right, we had a lot of offers on items over the weekend, but sold the, I think just five things. Sold this Rolex booklet for $15, uh, this Glock 19 holster. This thing was over 200 bucks brand new, but sold it for $25. I'm just not using it. I conceal carry, but I'm not using, I don't conceal carry my Glock 19. Uh, another rubber B strap sold. We sell a lot of these. We've had a lot of unusual, uncommon ones, uh, like this one's for a Yacht Master 2. Um, but I put them out there at higher prices, like this one was priced at 200. And somebody gave me an offer of 130 and I just took it because I bought a big lot of Rolex parts and parts that are to be used on Rolex watches for 3500 a few months ago. So why not? I'm making money on them. Um, so this link, uh, it's a two-tone link. And it's a 40, 14 millimeter link, um, and we sold it for $164.99, so almost $165. And then this Omega Speedmaster Sapphire Sandwich, we sold this for $5,000. The watch is in mint condition, no box, no papers though. We bought it like this, watch only. Um, it sold very fast, and in fact, as soon as I listed it on Saturday, uh, kept going back and forth with the customer and we finally settled on $5,000. So we'll get these shipped out.